This is a good soundtrack. I'm not sure why I'm flipped, so I'm gonna flip correct there. It is Tim. Tim's soundtrack. Look at that art. <laughs> Damn. Nah, he's got a big X on his face. This is Mike Wazowski. Um, let's see what we got here. I made people play this game who had played it before, more or less. I'm turning on Rewind. Welcome to Spider-Man and the X-Men. Yeah, okay, it's good. It's ready. Spider-Man and the X-Men is a game that I beat when I was a kid. It took a million years. It's pure memory. It's um, really annoying. Anyway, here's your manual for it. Collect all the Marvel superheroes on video cassette. Special offer for acclaimed players. <laughs> it's just white. There's no no background. At all. Anyway. Arcade's Revenge is only a one-player game. Yeah, I guess it does have color, you know. Okay, we're on loop on the soundtrack again. Anyway, they keep doing this thing with the, the hole in the background. It only works once, really, I think. Check out Spidey's controls. <laughs> he can move left. They can move right! Alright, now you can do more than that. I don't know why the manual sucks so bad. There it is. It's just, it's split the controls into the three sections, that's why. To climb up a wall or any scalable object, press up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire web bolt. Are these all different? They, they have a lot of images of Spider Man swinging. I'll give them that. Look at Cyclops. Um, so here's where the trouble really begins. We get to this point where we have to beat two events for five heroes, and all of them are bad. Spider Man's is actually on the lighter end of bad. Uh, my webcam probably needs. A little reset. So it doesn't look like it's delayed. I don't think it is. How about that? That's USB, the power USB sometimes. Uh, they share lives. That's gonna be. Life is cheap. Uh, anyway. Cyclops sucks so bad. He's got a mind to deal with, and he dies instantly everything. I don't know if it says in here, but when he gets weak, his um, ability to shoot gets worse. I don't know if it's even intentional. It's hard to tell. I don't think it is. But it absolutely is a thing. If his HP is low, he gets worse at blasting. It doesn't say anything about it in here. Can this high-tech bag of bolts or the X-Men 
Expire! Um, Dunk the Mutant. This level's the least bad. It's... It's boring. It's lousy. It's not hard, though. Not super hard, like the rest of it is. It's kind of like a puzzle uh, underwater. You raise the water level and try not to drown. And you use the water to get out, even though she can fly. She can't, though. That she swims only exclusively in this. Um, I'm not actually sure what the lightning storm and whirlwind do. And it doesn't really say. Oh, on pages 18 and 19, we'll find out. Look at all this crap. Okay, Lightning Storm is omnidirectional shot. Whirlwind is a defense thing. This game sucks. I know. That's why I'm putting it on the list. Um, I want to like it. It's one of those games where I'm like, it's super annoying because it shouldn't be that bad, but it is. Ball bonus. Um, we don't care about points. Though 100 stars apparently giving you an extra life is nice. Uh, that might be a thing. Look at this one up over here on the right, Wolverines. <laughs> um, we need to deal with ammo on... I don't know why they put the superhero pickups in the middle of the pages. Anyway, here's Gambit's Pro Joker. Um, he has an ammo problem. And he's being chased. Wolverine has a... I'm curious how they talk about how his regen works, because he's got a really weird system. And his levels are some of the worst ever. Second one, at least. Okay, this is the same image, they just zoomed in. Unlike Spider-Man, they didn't feel like drawing Wolverine twice. His storms? Yes. Okay, they did it again. Anyway, Wolverine. Get hit three times to let him pass you and this show's over. your claws away to get health but that's not really even how it works um there's a mechanic where if you punch the right enemies without the claws you get a big heal and that is way better than his lousy region look at this piece of art gi joe ass wolverine i think the genesis game isn't great but it's still better than this one Um, I don't really need help with Spider-Man's. It's all right. It's a game. Like, it feels like they made a real game with Spider-Man, and then they put the rest on there. Master Mold. I don't even know where this guy is in the game. If, if they even are, I don't know. What is this guy? Cyclops. Okay. I guess he is. There's a boss of some kind. I thought it was the Sentinel thing, though. Yeah, it's one of these things. It's Cyclops' actual boss. So he must just be that guy. I didn't really know he was anybody special. We see Shocker like 16 times. 
That's fun. He's a fun guy who just shows up every five steps. That's it. That's our manual. Yellow. I know that truck. I hope you like the comic strip. You're only going to see two of them at the beginning and end of this journey. Um, I didn't really read the manual because I, I sure know this game, but um, our goal is to collect these awful things. These What even are these things? The manual probably said what they are, but stage one is a collectathon for some reason. And you have to figure out how to get over here. That's like problem one. Problem two is figuring out which one's next. Because they have to be gotten in order for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. play bad games for a couple hours and then um, I'm going to be doing trivia later with the folks in the audience so everyone can play if you want to. I have enough trivia that just about everyone can get a turn if we end up playing that long. That's no problem. I haven't done that in a long time and I don't have this. We had like avatars and stuff and we did a whole trivia show but maybe it'll work. I don't know why Spider-Man's spider sense sounds like that. Maybe that's how it feels, like it's an audible version of how it feels to sense. Like it's just, if you're in danger, you just, oh, you just don't feel good. Anyway, this is pretty cool. Um, we're getting shot off screen and the last items are at the end and then you have to turn around. Because <laughs> anyway, um, no, we used to have Quizzler. Um, I called it Quizzler Deluxe or something like that. Uh, we just did that by itself as a show with three guests, like Jeopardy. They had a buzzer that we made. People have since copied that idea, but we we had a thing where we could let people buzz in with a chat room, and they would buzz in, and we'd reset the buzzer. We did that in like 2013 or whatever. Well, not that long ago, but maybe 15, 16. And I had avatars that were animated that you could pick that looked like the NES Jeopardy avatars. But they were arcade pit themed. Hey, Spider-Man beat it. I don't know why Spider-Man isn't saving them right now. And I don't know why he... Not only does he not save them, look at Wolverine's belt. Not only does he... Not only does he not save them, but he gets sucked in as well, and he does some virtual reality himself. For fun. It's for a good time. You're not free of the horrible sound, because I'm going to jump right back into Spider-Man. We might as well. Oh, uh, here's our... Choose screen. We have to do two for each one of these. This art doesn't look bad, right? Like, this is comic book art on the left now. At least. Compared to what we've been looking at. Okay, well, we have two stages of Spider-Man to go, and they honestly are, like I was saying, close to playable. This game, let's go in the order that I think is the worst. Last. We'll just get worse as we go. So the last three guys, it's going to be hard to pick between them, which one is the actual worst. I'm not sure. If you played this before, what do you think is worse, Gambit, Wolverine, or Cyclops? Arr. 
So we actually do have a lot of control here that's interesting. We cannot grab everything with our rope, but when we can, we can extend or release the rope and get different heights, which I think is nice. That makes you have like a grappling hook of sort. Like it's a, it's a mechanic that is cool and unusual. And it's one of the only things this game has to offer that's good. So we'll take what we get. What do you think of the sound design? You can swing into enemies to kill them. I'll talk about that mechanic later when it actually matters. I don't know what a spider web bolt is, but that's what we're, we're just shooting them with this sticky thing. And it does damage, I guess. I'm telling you, all the dev went into it. Maybe not the swinging, but Spider-Man, at least, is where all the time went. It's the closest thing to a game, and they obviously went in on Storm a little bit, but the, the rest of them, cool. Gambit has some ideas. I really w wish that his stages were better, because it would be alright if they were, but they're as bad as they could possibly be. I'm not doing great here, but there is some healing in this stage somewhere. Thanks, Tim, for the music there. It just, it just stops piano thing. So you have to kind of navigate this kind of awful map, but because you have these web controls, you can sort of do it. It's kind of annoying. Wish you could just go up sometimes, but... You can do stuff like that with it, and it works okay. Not really sure where to go, but we're gonna have to find out the path at some point. I think I went back, so... Yeah, I go this way. I see that heart, though. If you want that, you have to do this, like, really, really short swing. How about this sound? The sound of Spider-Man <laughs> lightly grabbing a surface. In my head, that's just what it sounds like after playing this too much. Shit. I think I need to go up, but where do I do that at? Oh, this is back again. I gotta, I gotta figure out the way up there. As usual, stage design is a problem in these games. Up here? No. There's the shocker part one. I'm gonna go right and see if I can find anything that way, because I don't see anything this way. Hey. There it is. I guess we go under and then up. That was what was throwing me. They're so generous in Spider-Man stage with the healing. They'll never be this generous again, I assure you. Every 10 feet we get a heart. And the enemies don't respawn either, if you didn't notice. I think that's always true. I just respawning system, not because they intentionally did it that way. But it works. 
I'd rather they not respawn if I'm being honest, they kinda suck. Fight. There we go. Hey there. That's the shocker. Legendary mutants, the shocker. Ah, he's dead. Oh, that's the thing, by the way. No matter what you do, you cannot get off the ground with the web. No matter how you try, you have to be already in the air a little bit. The only reason it works up here is because we can swing through the platforms. So they make us go up here and do this weird swing. The only saving grace here is that it actually works. Like, it actually functions when you do it the right way. I don't need those. I better save them. I don't know about points. I don't think I get anything for that, but maybe a one-up? Maybe. I think you just get one-ups from Spider-Man faces in this world. Spider-Man collects little, little spiders of various colors, like cereal. Yeah, that's right, there's a high score table. I don't think that there... Maybe there's a battery on the cart that actually saves them. I don't think there is, though. How do I get up there? There we go. Why did it work this time? Inconsistent. Because normally you definitely can't do it like I showed earlier. But you have to do it here. You gotta get the right swing. Oop. I feel like somebody who understands how the rope swinging works can beat this stage. And that's... That's something. That's a game. You know, I'd give it like a medium out of ten if I, uh... If this was the game. Here's Shocker... Shocker Jr. Um, yeah. He doesn't even... <laughs> he's so pathetic, dude. I think we could just damage raise him. He gives a full heal when he dies, pretty much. Well, Mario 1 also has the advantage of being like 5-6 years before this game, right? Yeah, we're, we only sense bosses now. We don't sense, there's no more of the pickup thing. That's done. All of our spider sense now is like actual threats. How do I get up there? There we go. Hey. Last time? No. Some garbage thing. <laughs> this game doesn't have retro achievements. Get on it, folks. Alright, here's the weird gargoyle monster that was in the manual. He drops gems when you shoot him, so this is like a treasure hunt for Each one gives me a big hundred points. I don't see losing to this boss. It's a... Not, not a great fight, but it's a, it's a fight. I'm trying to swing into him for damage if I can. Just show off that feature. That feature. <laughs> it's really hard to do. It's not working anyway. Anyway, he's dead. Hey, we're one tenth done. I am gonna beat this game. One way or the other. 
Level two is much worse. Uh, that maze, whatever. Level two is a bit of a mess with instant death everywhere. Something going on with Twitch? What do you mean? I probably drop frames every now and then. I can't do much about it. Hopefully it doesn't happen too much. Level two. I was just preparing myself for it. Let's go, let's go. So now it's construction with wind and rain. Yeah, the color lights are working. They're not like optimally set up yet though. I still, I've been pretty lazy about setting up my room in here. I don't even have my good camera on. I just have my webcams. I actually had the Xfinity folks out here. They're gonna monitor the lines. Anyway, the mechanic of wind is upon us. Instant death and wind. It's not the worst. Um, like, it's not super unfair. It's just not as... It's not what I want to see. <laughs> Instant death with wind. And the wind is... It's visual. It tells you what way it's blowing. It does change the directions all the time. There's only a couple places in the stage where it's really gross. Most of the time it's fine. So, again, being with the Spider-Man actually has a real game going on here thing. Um, I guess that's, that's healing, but I don't need it bad enough to risk that. Now what? I'll wait for the wind, I guess, if it does switch directions. Yeah, the crystals do heal you a little bit, that's true, apparently. Ah! Now what? Okay. We're gonna be cheating a little bit in this game. who are going to understand how this rope works better than me and I still couldn't land that jump quite right. It didn't work out for me. But it does give you a 1-up, so I guess it's supposed to be a big deal. Um, the 1-ups do not respawn. They are shared between... So we need as many as we can get. Realistically, if you're trying to beat this game fair... You want that one-up and you want to not die. Spider-Man should be cashing in, giving you two one-ups for the other jerks. That's really the saving grace of the game, is that you can rack up like ten one-ups for the actual hard bosses. Okay, here is your boss. It's freaking Carnage, but... It's also Rhino. Carnage is whatever. He's He just gets blasted. He's just the shocker, but he can jump. Uh, when Rhino hits the walls, if you're on a platform, you fall through it. That's the mechanics of this fight. Oof. Still alive. If I can kill Carnage, I'm safe. Where's he at? Just a little bit of cheating here, yeah. I could have healed up big time before I came in here and I did not. 
this boss fight is actually not too bad at all. Yeah, I mean, he seems like he takes more hits than I remember, but... Gotta be real, I didn't even remember Carnage was in this fight. He melted. Actually, let's check that animation out, I guess. I'm one hit away. Anyway, I want you to know that I sat here as a kid and did this for like 10 years. Because there's a stage with the Juggernaut where a similar thing seems to be happening. I didn't really know who this guy was. He kind of looks like the Tick. And I knew that character to be an indestructible dude as a joke, like a joke character. Pretty good Amazon show with him, actually. So I sat here and did this for like 10 years. This does no damage. This does nothing. What do you think you do to hit this guy? Because there is actually an indicator for what you do. Uh, well, there's an indicator for when he actually hit him, but he has to be destroyed. That's right. This really, really hurts the rhino. Maybe this is like an episode or something of Spider-Man somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting mechanic. And they don't tell you to do it anywhere. And I... Like, there's no other part of Spider-Man. We've seen it all, so... Obviously, it wasn't taught to us at any point. Ooh, a double hit. Spider-Man is gone. Let me see if the manual did mention that. I don't know if it did. I was looking for that kind of thing. There's a lot of, like, flavor text in the manual. Makes it hard to read. Uh... No, I don't think it does say that anywhere. It doesn't look like it. Maybe back here? Actually, it's lying to you and saying that you're supposed to blast them. So that's not great. I probably read that. Uh, ten swings will do it, it seemed like. Ten ish, twenty ish swings, easy. Nice and safe. Sitting there blasting them, I assure you, it's not going to yield very good results. If it does work, it takes longer than I had patience for, and that's a lot of patience. That's a lot of patience. <laughs> I probably did that for two hours. Um, the next least bad one, I would say, is Storm. Not a very interesting one, but nevertheless. Time for some chill gameplay. Uh, so she has Mario's... This is part of why it's not too bad. She has Mario 64's regeneration system where if she takes a bunch of damage, you can just suck in some air, get some health back. That's cool. So I like that. Um, that is the shield thing. Uh, when you blow those generators up, they are controlling the water. Uh, eventually, this room's gonna be flooded and we can no longer get healed 
by doing that, so we need to move on quickly because we are drowning. Gotta be careful that we don't get caught. It would be wise probably to look around before blowing those generators up and seeing what the problem actually is. The problem here, um, I mean, the water height's always going to be the problem, but exactly where it is and what it looks like is going to be a thing. Also, we get hit by the explosions from the generator, which hurts a lot, so you got to watch out for that. And they do the sonic thing where there's bubbles, so there's air right here. So there's... I hate this gameplay, but there is stage design here. It's... Just like Spider-Man, it's like a medium out of 10 game with Storm. It's not a game I would want to play, but a game... I want to play it less than Spider-Man. But it's something. I wouldn't... If somebody liked this, it wouldn't surprise me. I guess. I would. It would surprise me if you liked the rest of it. The other game parts are where this thing really falls apart. We'll get there. I have a shield and I have the omnidirectional shots. Oh. You can't get out of the water. No. This is Storm's entire thing. <laughs> she should, you know, be able to fly out of the water and cruise around, shoot lightning, etc. But she doesn't feel like it, I guess. Also, if you go up here, these mines almost certainly will get you. But you have to, so I guess you just get hit. We fill up. We get air here? No. Starting to get hurt. This happens all the time right here in this part of the run for me. I always get blasted by 20 fish and 10 mines, depth charges or whatever, and I'm trying to heal, and it's like a race. Back and forth mess of a race. Okay. I am allowed to have more than one of those, I wasn't sure. I think that's the limit. You can have one whirlwind that doesn't pretty much nothing and two omnidirectional shots that aren't anything to write home about. But you can have them. There's some some kind of power up in there. Let's just keep rolling. No reason to... You could get in trouble if you have to go back, like if you miss the first generator somehow that you can, and you just go too far in the stage, and it becomes impossible to swim that far in one go, you might be in a bad way. I think I'm, I'm dead, but we'll see, I guess. Jeez, it takes so freaking long. I'll just eat this mine real quick so I can get rid of it. Yeah. These guys too. We're almost done with the first stage, which is a, a serviceable... It's the same thing. Worse. Worse. Just fish. Love fish. You can heal in this boss fight, which is part of why it's not so bad. Finger on screams sound. I could have sworn that it was just the same one for no reason. It was just Yeah, I'll wait on my internet. 
Actually, I'll turn it down a bit. It's not like we're doing anything super intense today. I can probably reduce how often that happens. I still probably can't get rid of it, but I can reduce the problem. It usually does bounce back. Boss time. It's this thing. I'm not actually sure what it is. Maybe it's in the manual. That's the boss. Now we can swim away. Uh... I'm I'm curious now if that is in the manual. Let's pull it back up. Yeah, with any luck they'll fix it soon, maybe. Whatever that thing is is not in here. the machine that spits things. Yeah, the whirlwind block shots. Let's do one more for Storm. Still got even the worst of Storm's levels. It's not that bad compared to everyone else. It's just another maze of uh, height raising. And now it's a little bit more serious, though. It's a lot more it's going to kill you if you make that many mistakes that I made. Ow. How much damage that did. Ridiculous. I've got to get rid of that plant monster before I leave this area. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly how much of it is necessary, but it sure seems like a lot of the gameplay is going to be making sure you're free to clear. And like you clear every gate and you kill every enemy and then you blow these up section to section. And that's just for example, going down here and destroying these, they take four hits each. If there's like six of them in a row, you might just not make it. And there is. <laughs> and then there's a fella at the end, blasting you, taking some health from you. Gameplay. Okay, now we go back. And I'm pretty sure once or twice that I've played this, I've missed one of these, like maybe this one right here. And you can get really far in the level before you're stuck. And you just, the water just won't go up and you don't know why. Uh, you gotta blow them all up, every single one. No, okay, we gotta go up here. I guess. Oh, don't worry. We'll we'll see some more gameplay. As long as I don't get hit, she'll make it. No problem. Okay. So what we do is we we blow that one up, then we swim up here. That's a common thing with these games. I've got Wolverine and Adamantium Rage on the list, where you just play as Wolverine, and he's got a bunch of fine-tuned, weird fighting controls that really just don't work at all, but he's got them. Um, that, he's so weak in that game. He's worse than any single enemy in the game, and you, you have to kill like 700 of them to win. camera also sucks. Like, what is it doing? Why am I way over here? I cannot see what's coming up. Oh, shit. Okay, 
guess that's all right. There might be another one. I have to kind of go over there and check. We'll do it soon. Come on, stop. Cool. Did I actually make it to the boss? This looks like the boss. That's not too bad. There's so many gotchas, but um, they didn't get me. Uh, you can only hit this boss, you know, you know how glass works, you can only hit it when it's attacking you, so. Let's go ahead and get rid of the bottom ones and then we'll raise the water later. I think once I raise the water all the way I can no longer heal, and then we fight the last part of the boss. I think I need to go down here and blow up some more generators. Nope. Okay, there's nothing. Just reset the entire level. There's no checkpoints, of course, on any of these. Uh, if you die get a good reset going, because that's all you got. Let's see if this is high enough. I wonder if it is. I wonder if I still missed one, despite knowing that I cannot do that. Looks like I did, because there's not enough fight here still. Is there one down this way, maybe? I think unlike the last stage, this level does end when the boss dies. You don't swim off or anything. <laughs> Pretty cool how there's just 600 fish <laughs> that are guaranteed to get you. Yeah. There it is. So once I blow this up, that's it. But they did give me air here to charge up on. So that's generous, I guess. Yay! That storm. Serviceably boring. Serviceably boring is what it, Okay. All done. Who's next? Who would you say is the least bad of these three? I would say it's Gambit. He's almost... Got a, if the others are mediocre out of 10, he's bad out of 10, and these are atrocious. I think. So Gambit is being chased by a giant orb that kills you instantly. No, I used Rewind when I died there with Storm. Wolverine has one of the worst levels on the SNES. But I don't know if it's, even with that, even with that, I don't know if it's worse than Cyclops. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that at all. Alright, Gambit. Gambit has two big problems. One is that every stage he's in is kind of like an auto-scroller. This one's not really, because you can run away from the auto-scroller. It's, it's chasing you, it's instant death if it catches up to you, and it's a little bit tight sometimes. He also dies really fast. So I guess he has three problems, because the last problem is that he's an ammo limit that you can soft walk on the stage with. 
Yeah, so of course that's instant death. So you really just, you kind of have to book it. Um, if you want more ammo, typically you get it by killing enemies, which requires ammo. You know? Yeah. Isn't that nice? Uh, the Joker there gives me a nice big spin. That uh, actually is a pretty good weapon. I use it to get out of jams that are in the stage because of bad stage design. This right here. We have to destroy these awful blocks. And they're so freaking hard to hit. He dies so fast to contact damage. He runs out of cards so fast when you start spamming them the way you kind of need to. The audio design here does help though. It tells you how close that orb is. Whatever that thing is. So it's not useless for once. I feel like it's closer to me than it should be. So that's not great. The B is, for some reason, an enormous heal, so grab that. You can absolutely just get stuck here and just be dead, and this is a good... You have to do this to get out. So you, if you go for that heart, big trap. Ow. So I guess Gambit's the only stage where you can get more than one one up. Ow, fuck. Back it up. Doing this all in one run is so freaking hard. Let's we'll start from here. Jeez. Fucking orb, man. I can't have that heart, that's just the way it is. That heart is never gonna be got by humans. You really have to be ahead of the game, I guess, to get that. Boss time. The boss is... I feel like he's not hard, but he is pretty rough, actually, based on my last time I played this. He spawns enemies so that you can get cards back. Which I feel like is necessary shoots a bunch. There's a million things going on in this fight. He takes so much damage. I think he takes more than I remember him taking. What a cheater, dude. The enemies weren't dead yet, how dare you? I guess he doesn't care about that. So he's got two patterns of enemies, it looks like, and neither one of them are great for me. Now he's doing both at the same time. There we go. The Joker is a lot of damage, I think, so that will save me. That's Gambit 1. Um, it's beatable, it just takes a million tries to learn the entire route, and you die to so much stuff. I feel like Gambit can make any inanimate simple object explode, yeah. That's my understanding, like he could pick up a fork and blow it up, but he couldn't pick up like a beetle and make it explode, I don't think. Maybe he can. Anyway. Level 2's worse. <laughs> but it's the same concept for being chased. This time it is an auto-scroller. We're moving up, and nobody likes that. And we still have this ammo problem. 
I would say this level's easier, though, than the last one. It's just way less interesting. It's really easy to get crushed because his hitbox is so big. It's easier than you would think. It's also really easy to run out of ammo. He might literally have 54 cards or whatever. I'm not sure. It seems like he's got more like, well, maybe, maybe like 30 to me, but hard to tell. You gotta make sure you get every card or you're done. That's like the only way to win. I don't feel like it's possible to get all those guys while I can hit. This is cool. Um, left or right? All you guessed right? Not too bad, idiot. It looks like you're dead. Like, they give you some power-ups, though. You get a full wheel before you die. I don't know if I can get to that B either, if it's actually possible. No, it's not. That B is just there as a joke. There's, there's, I don't think there's any way at all to get that. Because you have to... He doesn't have the spider swing or whatever. He can't do that shit. He has to wait till the platform comes over. I'm just gonna do this and get that and get a refund on it and save some ammo. Yeah, he gives me a full deck of cards. I'm really close to the one up, but I, I maybe missed it. Should maybe be getting close to the top of this place. Yeah. Nice. Oh, you ch chunked it big time. You went right. Oh, oh, oh! Can't go, can't go get those. They're a trap. Let's go this way. This looks safe. All of the coins and all that. As a kid, I didn't really take too much issue with the instant death, I don't think. Maybe I did. It's hard to remember, but I sure knew which paths of these were instant death and how to optimize my cards, and we sure have no health going into the boss. So that's fun. It's this lady from Battletoads, I guess. Her arms sound like um, Spider-Man being punched in the stomach. Let's back up and try and get more health, I guess. Where did I lose it all at? I got hit by like one enemy and lost like half my health, so... Yeah, these, these guys touched me once and it took like 80% of my life far away. If we go left, we don't get all those useless stars, since we already got our one up. And we don't have to waste a bunch of cards on a bunch of blocks, and we don't get shot by that monster there. My bad. Tried to walk through the door, but should've known Gambit's enormous. Looks like I'm wrong, you have to waste even more ammo. That's cool. I love that. It's, it's actually really, really hard to get out of this. <laughs> Without you wasting a joker on it. I'm gonna go right then, I guess, is the actual correct way. Okay, I'm in there. 
Yeah, you can just cheat. It's fine. She does too. So what are you going to do? See how much damage that laser did? I'll try to do the whole boss in one go. Nice and fair. Honestly, you want to be up here, I'm pretty sure. Since this doesn't apparently do any damage to the boss, I'll just use it for I Do you like how much damage this is taking? Because we do have an ammo limit. Okay. That's Gambit. What did you think? I give it a 4 out of 10 because it's interesting. It's almost there. It just needs better stage design. The bosses are atrocious. The damage is like 6 times higher than it should be. The ammo limit is ridiculously small. You don't have anything when you're out of cards is the problem, right? Like, he should have a weak card or something, at least. But no, he has nothing. It's like if Mega Man had bullets. <laughs> and he ran out of bullets. Um, these two stages are really, really bad. And I don't know which one I'd say is worse. It's probably still Cyclops is better than Wolverine, because Wolverine's second stage is so nasty. His first one's okay, though. Let's go ahead and get that stage out of the way. I guess it gives the illusion of being an alright-ish, like, mediocre out of 10 stage. Except for the sound design. So Wolverine, uh, he has his claws. If you have them out, you don't get any regen. But not only that, I was talking about this a bit earlier. Um, the enemies drop hearts if you punch them. The big ones that I just killed. The Jack in the Box guys. I don't know why they drop hearts if you punch them, but that is essential to your victory here. <laughs> if I kill them this way, though, I will get a heart, and it only takes like seven hits. You can claw through the walls like this, and in fact you have to at some points. Love a good saw blade. Going up. Does Wolverine not like clowns? Fine. Um, I don't know. Storm gets stuck under the freaking ocean and can't use any of her powers. Wolverine's just like in a clown zone. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. Like, does he particularly hate clowns though? Because like, you know, whatever. I could handle this if I were stuck in clown zone. I wouldn't be like more upset than I would be in any other awful this place not not really. like i'd rather be here than like in a snake pit or something personally Ugh. uh it sh shouldn't be skipping too much hopefully at least not right now i can't do too much about that it looks like it's still working. Wish the clowns would stop laughing, that's all. Huh. 
really bad jumps, really bad stage design, but it's not unfair, and I think that goes a long way in this game. The boss is unfair. It's it's Apocalypse, or at least some facsimile of him. I'm not sure what that rumbling noise was. But that's fine. If you punch these guys, you can heal. I'm pretty sure you can sit there and regen real slow, though, if you want as well. That's a mechanic that's in a lot of Wolverine games. And it's, like, really... I, it can't, kind of unintuitive, because you just sit there. Whatever that noise is happens here every time. Okay, once we jump here, we can't get out anymore. This is the boss arena of sorts. At least the stages are short in this game, right? Well, that's not going to be true in a minute, but here's Apocalypse. Uh, the way to fight him is to just not die instantly to his million damage attack. And to do some shit like this, because it makes him mess up his AI, I guess. I don't really understand why. Is Apocalypse just not like jumping guys? Does he have no dragon punch? He's dead. That was really close. Um, and I, go, I went in... I played this recently, and I went in after dying to him like 10 times to learn that strat. <laughs> Alright, now... Wolverine 2's stage is legendarily bad. I... I can't think of a worse stage in any video game. We'll, we'll go with this guy for a while. Let's do it. So Cryclops here, he can punch and kick for some reason. He can also blast them. But like I was saying earlier, if your HP is low, his um, damage... His damage doesn't stop, but the, the mechanics of his movement and sh shooting stops working. We can shoot this fast, but if my health is low, we can shoot like this fast. For some reason. Um, the floor here is instant death, because of course it is. There is a lot of healing around, sort of. That mine there, if you touch it, you die instantly. It's kind of a maze on top of it being instant death, and you can't really get around anyway, so you have to deal with that. Apparently, for as long as your bar is orange, this is a one-hit kill on every enemy with your blaster. I don't think I knew that. I read that in the manual. But it does give you a full heal. I did know that. That's, that part's more obvious. And it's already over, so the buff of killing them in one shot is already gone. So... <laughs> Great! Here you do some blind jumps and hope you don't fall down that pit because that pit is of course instant death you know and uh yeah oh they're dropping missiles on my head you can look around i'll give them that you can't do that in the other stages really That's some damage. I knew that was coming. It's just so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> just, you're just walking along. And, anyway, you have to set this stupid Kaizo trap off in order to proceed. Because you have to run on top of it. If you go this way, there's a different way you could go. I guess. But I like this thing. Which apparently is not a full heal, actually. Oh, 
I think there's a one-up up here, which doesn't respawn, so let's go ahead and grab it now. We have a lot of one-ups. We basically have the perfect run going on now, where we have as many one-ups as you can possibly have. And of course, you'll do these jerks last, because their stages are ridiculous. I wonder if you can go past nine one-ups. Punch him with the, the air jump punch. I don't know why he even has a punch, because it's just worse than the kick. Uh, you can try and grab this health, but you're probably going to die if you do. It's really hard to grab. It's, um, I think it's there to trick you into dying instantly. It messes with your momentum and shit. It's really hard to pull off. Uh, so this guy does that, so now you have to kick. And of course he takes 10 million damage for some reason. Full heal. One mercy for Cyclops is that they are generous. But if you, um, actually if you don't read the manual, of course that hurts you. Could kill you. But yeah, if you don't do the manual, you might not know how you even use that. Ow. I don't know what's up here. This is the wrong way, though, I'm pretty sure. So what is this? Shoot, you jerk. Fuck. <laughs> Man. That's what I was talking about with the controls not answering the need to fire. got me. Outsmarted me. I'll try, um, try this again. Doing bad. It might on forever. Yeah, I mean, I hope that stops because I can't do it. And they said they were gonna... I don't think it's my... Like, it's not my hardware or anything. Yeah, how does that work? Kinetic punch energy. I'm gonna have to talk about Cyclops for a minute. I can turn it down some more. I hate settles down, I might have to. It's if you have the ability to do that. There you go. Looks like it's back. Anyway, yeah, I don't have the ability to do much about the unit. I'm gonna set it to 3,000. Which is half of what I usually do. Anyway, the disc things spawn in mud that hits for... This thing is okay. Oh, 
yeah cyclops is a decent dude ethically he's just kind of an asshole that's all <laughs> Ow. Six kicks to kill one of these guys, and you have to do it. They fooled me with, you know, that's not how physics work. But I guess it really has some bounce to it in this card. Yo, Tatusa, what's going on? We're doing some X-Men gaming. Welcome in, everybody. I have that game. I haven't really played it yet. Join us in following Pi Tuesday. Join us now. The shows are there. I have no idea what to do here. Okay, maybe I can make that jump. Okay. I guess that's what you do. I guess you just, like, at least I can see it, I guess. I'm waiting either direction. There is this. I think I'm biased against this dude also because I liked Wolverine and they kind of have this little like silly feud for jerks. <laughs> like they just pretend not to like each other a whole lot. Like they just don't get along much. Here's the boss. What do you think? It's a sentinel, but it's like only 10 feet tall. Nice lasering, man. That's fun. I can no longer shoot correctly, which you love to see. Could you wrap it up, please? I'm mashing the laser button, by the way. It's just not firing because I'm hurt too much. Ah. This takes so much work. We're going to cheat on this boss since uh, they're cheating on me with this health. <laughs> Jeez. I guess the way to do it is to just stand under his arm. But you, you have this other shot to worry about, too. Which is honestly more dangerous than the laser most of the time. How can he still be alive? These are the questions. I'm gonna punch his ass. We have to blow him up. It's mandatory. Now we can leave. That's stage one. Second one's worse. I'll be right back. We'll take a little break with that. Just a couple minutes.
All right, let's hit it. I don't feel like Cyclops gets measurably worse, but he does have a second stage. And it's more of the same. Um, I think he's actually the only one who has a dedicated boss level attached to his stage. And I think, I'll check, that the checkpoint is still the stage. But you get like this little heal before you do this boss fight. So that's something, right? Let's see if my internet has stabilized at all. I'm going to boost up a little bit. Let's go. Get ready, Cyclops. Uh, we're going to be doing trivia later. Probably soon, actually. If people are interested in that. And uh, I, one of the reasons I think it would be good to do soon is because the bandwidth for that is obviously lower. I don't need to run it at full power if uh, my internet's being stubborn. I can still do that easily. But typically my internet does fix after a little bit of being a jerk. Like it doesn't stay offline all night. It does, for like a little bit, it dips and then it goes back to normal. That's how it's been. Which makes it really hard to fix, but it's also, hey, nice score. It's also something I can use to still stream a little bit. I always thought these were missiles because they make that noise. They're obviously rocks, but the way they fall on you and the way they look like missiles, I didn't understand that's what they were until, honestly, now. As I look at them closer. Oh. everybody doing today coming in if you would like to play trivia uh it's gonna be quiz stuff uh and screen crap maybe i think i'm gonna go uh quizzler blitz and if you survive quizzler blitz that is you answer three out of five i'll let you play quizzler and if you can do two of those questions i'll let you do screen crap i think that's the way i'll do it maybe or maybe i'll just cycle around Check out that dude in the bike. Man, this is hard. Oh, fuck. Ah, jeez. I can't shoot anymore, dude. Ah! My game died, too. Oh, man. Well, it's not the your side that's fixed it. It's mine. So, not only does his beam stop working... But, uh, I'm just maybe going to take a death, but I can rewind the whole stage, so why bother? Um, not only does his beam stop working, but he stops being able to kick and punch as well. Like, he truly just needs a drink of juice or something. <laughs> He's just finished when his health is low. He's just done for. Useless. Can't do normal things. Who are these guys? I noticed that my kick also did less damage, like marginally less damage than it was supposed to. He, his health being reduced reduced his damage by like half as well as being hard to use oh come on again maybe that's why this guy took so long to kill now we don't even have the advantage of uh yeah okay that is why isn't that fun? Maybe. Maybe that's why. Maybe this guy's just weaker than the other one. I don't even have the advantage of the ceiling there preventing him from shooting me anymore. I think, um, actually, I think I'm dead. If you fall down here, I think you're just done. I kind of remember this. 
I don't think it's possible to get up here. Oh, no, it is. You just have to do a perfect jump. Get to walk on the electric tile a little bit. Ah, ah, I went back and got that one. Okay, that's stage two, uh, but there's this attached to it, which is actually kind of neat. I wish the boss didn't suck, but it's kind of neat that they put a boss fight in for him. It's a passable boss for this game. Duh. We are doing damage. We're making him vibrate, so he doesn't like that. I think. <laughs> oh, he's over here now. Now he's over there. I think this boss will get new moves when he starts to be able to. I might be wrong. I don't remember very, very well. I did say I wanted to check if um the checkpoint is here or at the next uh, at the boss. Uh, so let's find out. When I die and restart, do I go back to the start of stage two? I bet I do. Sounds like it. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's generous. So there is three stages to Cyclops, like distinctly. What a treat! They did it right. The one checkpoint of the game. Okay. So, like, why did you give your sentinel a head for if he doesn't need it? Why not another gun? Robot design. Why why hands? Why not another gun? I guess they were trying to capture him, maybe? I don't know. Alright. Um I'm gonna take a little poll. Have you seen this stage before? Wolverine 2. I'm just curious. We can discuss the mechanics of this stage when we get there. Mighty Mango. It's almost empty. Gotta finish this off. <laughs> okay, we're getting like 50-50 on people who had seen what maybe is the worst thing on the SNES. This one stage right here. It's so stupid. Uh, so Wolverine here is being chased by the Juggernaut. And... You have to hit him the entire time or he won't die. There's a limit to the stage. It's hard to tell you're even doing damage to him, but you are. You gotta, you gotta do this um, the entire time. The entire time. The whole way through the stage. To stop him from chasing after you, because if you leave him alone, he'll do this. Killing you instantly. And also, there's a limit to the stage, so you can't just keep doing it forever. And there's also obstacles. And that's not all. You also need to hit him with these anvils by slicing the ropes, which is a decent mechanic, I guess. I think that if he runs into him, he takes the same damage as if he's clawed as if they fall on his head. I'm not sure. This is a stage that sucks so bad that rewind might not even help it. 
I've legitimately beat this like once ever. It's it's so boring. And it requires so much work. Um, as if this wasn't annoying enough, they're gonna put walls in my way now. That I have to maneuver while being blown up. That. I have to not get hit by him while tearing the wall down and dodging a bomb all at once. The, yeah, this is the only way to do the level, in fact. There's no shortcut at all. That's the way to do that part right there. And you have to do that perfectly, and you have to do it many times. If you fall in that pit, you die, of course. Oh, uh, that's a death pit. It's plenty of those. There's no checkpoints or anything, so once you get hit, you're done. You just start over here. Yeah. Yeah. Wolverine has auto healing, but not if his claws are out. And if you put his claws away, you are not doing damage anymore to this guy. He can do regular punches that hurt everyone else, but not the Juggernaut. He doesn't care. I have two types of swings. One of them is only for Terror to the Wall, really. They both do the same damage to this guy, I think. I mean, I don't know if anyone on Earth knows numbers for this. That's not great. Yes, there is an end to the stage. It's a big pit. Uh, you kind of just get there and you're like, what now? Um, and it might be confusing at first, and then you realize, oh, I just didn't kill him fast enough. Cool. And then you're dead. I missed. I missed! The whole game ends if you miss a single time here. You have to claw, claw, slash, claw, claw, slash in that order or you're dead and there's a bomb here so I had to hurry up and do that I'll take those hits because I got no choice I, I like to just run for it here a little bit because like yeah, there's no room to play with him anymore. Things might get hairy at the end when I need to do this and I cannot. There's no freaking room. And I have no health to deal with anymore. I think we're getting there. It's mercifully short, I guess, if there's any mercy at all to it. I failed. Uh, I don't know why I failed, though, because I was beating him up so bad. How close are we? It's impossible to tell. Let's do it again, I guess. I mean, I don't know what I can do to do more damage. Maybe if I land more anvils on him, it does more damage. I'm not sure. That was so, like perfectly done, right? Like, with the rewind and everything. I think that maybe hitting him on the head with the weights does more damage. Let's go. The speedrun probably knows exactly how good the damage is. I think if you time the anvils, maybe it does do more damage. That's the only thing I can think of that made me fail there. That's pretty hard to do. I didn't actually miss any anvils, so he hit them all, so they must do less damage when they don't land right on his head. That one did not, so that's not great. Ow. 
Ow. Well, we died. Burning through those lives. That's what we're doing. I got eight Wolverines left. Look at his little face up there. It's nice to be able to look at a speed run of this and have some kind of answer because this is one of the most obtuse things in gaming, I think. Knowing if you're even doing damage at all to him, right? Like he's glowing, that means something, right? The rhino wasn't glowing when you shot him, even though the manual said to do that. Um, it gave you the wrong advice for the rhino, so maybe the same thing's going on here. Maybe he just isn't taking damage, but he is. I'll try and time these better. That was as good as it gets, I think. I think we're at a perfect, uh, perfect in air quotes run of this so far here at this juncture. Ah, fuck. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat a little bit knowing that I have a good run up to the bomb there and I need to not try to get the slash there because he hurts so bad. We'll just wait here. I'm not, because of the way this game works, I'm not 100% sure that we need to do this the whole time or if we can run with him and hit him with the anvils only. I've heard it both ways. If the speed run is skipping them, then maybe you only need to hit him with the anvils. Which was my child's impression of the stage. But I've, I've had it fail after hitting with every anvil before, I'm pretty sure, so that made me think that you had to do both. It certainly slows him down to hit him. So that's mandatory at least. You have to hit him every once in a while. <laughs> Maybe you can bust this game open and look at the damage table somehow. Figure out what's what on this. Fuck. <laughs> I don't feel like that was perfect, but it was serviceable, I would say. I mean, I, if I were designing this, I would say it was serviceable, but I don't think the game thinks it was. If you can beat this stage, you can beat this stupid game. This is the one. The rest of them are doable with enough pain. You can sit through them, but this. Okay, I am sure then that the claws do damage because look how much room we had and then he died to claws, not anvils. They, he needs to be struck a thousand times. Here's the end game of this stinker. You get to play everybody one last time. Isn't that fun? This is actually like a victory lap compared to what we've been dealing with. Imagine if the game was just like this and not instant death everywhere and all that. I think the idea is that you have escaped the virtual reality and you, um, you're just, you're just your regular self now. Oh, thanks. I didn't have time to read the chat during that mess. Pass notes. Thirty-two HP. Anvil does four. I don't understand. How can it only be 32 HP that the claws do one? I hit him so many times. 
Okay, so you can't hit him with the claws until the very end. And you have to hit him with 16 anvils or something? No. But the anvils are different, okay. You have to finish him off with claws, which is why it's a mess. I think you have to finish him off with claws because he's supposed to have lost his helmet. And there's no visual indication that that happened, right? Is there, like... No, hold on. Let's back up. I'm just gonna save right here. And then we'll do it. So I don't have to walk back through any of that. See if this is a thing. I'm not sure if I can rewind that far, but... Did he have a visual indication that he lost his helmet? Apparently the anvils do four and the other ones do one. And you need to hit him with a billion of them. 32 health. Doesn't sound like a lot, though. Stage isn't long, so maybe there's not that much to it. Okay, so, like... Here we get to the point where he, he still has his helmet on. He has, like, three hits left of claws. No, okay. They didn't bother with any of that. <laughs> he looks exactly the same. Anyway... That was Cyclops' section that we just did. It's that easy. It's a tough jump. We can do it, Wolverine. I got plenty of Wolverines left. Don't worry about it. I remember that that's the thing, like, the Juggernaut is protected from psychic damage and stuff because of his helmet, so as soon as he loses it, you can get rid of him, but, um, they forgot to animate that part, so... Makes it even less clear. The manual says that, though, pretty much, uh, that you're supposed to do that, hit him after his helmet's gone. Oof. Shit. Wolverine's done. Uh, Gambit's revenge run here. Actually, what the hell is this? We're we supposed to do that jump? Okay. He jumps better than the other one. Gotta fight the chess pieces. What the hell? Um, as bad as this is sometimes, it's still nothing like the extra stages were. A one or two instant death traps are still for Gambit of Victory Lab. What more do you want? Imagine dying to that after beating the Juggernaut with one life left. Next. Uh, so, for people who were complaining about Storm, understandably. Now, finally. She can have really bad animations and shoot... Something? I don't know what. this very quickly uh so you know give her a break i guess her stage somehow is still the hardest one because she dies so easily and her projectiles kind of suck i do like her um how much damage did? holy shit i do like her little tornado thing she only gets two of them though i gotta choose when to use those Spider-Man, the last 
journey. Isn't that a one sound? It's been a while since I've heard it. It's the whole stage full of it. Over and over again. They really want Spider-Man to win at this point, but they give plenty of health. Gorgeous. We're so close to a million points. Might not make it. No million. Oh wait, there's another stage? Nice. I didn't remember this. Final boss? Hey fellas. Are they coming in for fire support? What's Wolverine do? Okay, he just... finish. That's <laughs> never gonna happen. somehow got sucked back into virtual reality and they are like once in a while getting free and they're helping me as soon as they can I think that's what they're trying to do here remember the spots even being here. <laughs> it's not easy compared to the other bosses. he do contact damage full spider-man I'm trying to at least do the final boss correctly I got three spider-mans left I burned through ten lives on the juggernaut and here even with cheating a little bit I honestly forgot you could web swing maybe that works maybe that's okay no you 
I'm not allowed to do any of that. Maybe if he's up near the top when they're jumping. It might be safer than anything else. I don't know. I wouldn't say that, though. But maybe. It's just so clunky to do. I think it... Okay, there we go. I think it does work as like a... If they get too close, we can swing through. Anyway, that's Spider-Man and X-Men. What did you think? Let's rank this game. Consistently being poorly drawn. Look at him. <laughs> it kicks ass. Gambit looks like 8 bit runner. Why wouldn't he get out? Was he even there? Famous Cyclops quote. Cool jazz finish. Nah, he didn't look okay on anything. Wolverine never looks okay. Oh, I hit the button. I was so close to a million points. Do you think this scoreboard even contains a million points? Can it do it? Spider-Man's swinging off stuff out here in the middle of nowhere. He's always swinging on, like, UFOs or something off-screen, but when you're playing, you're not allowed to do it. You're not allowed to have any of that. You have to have an actual thing to swing off of in this. I just thought we'd put on some different music while I pull up the ratings on this thing and see what we got for this game here. First things first, let's give it the score. I like to do that before I put it in the list anywhere. How long the name is? <laughs> I gotta... Must expand. I'll pull this over here so I can read the chat. Um, let me grab these. Uh, so concept and design, what did you think? Um, I think the concept is actually okay. Playing five different dudes, each have their own little universe, and they're all unique-ish. Like, that could be done well. It never is. It's the Battletoads problem, where they try to do five different things, and they can't do any of them right. The design is a big fucking problem, obviously. I consider those to be the same thing. Can I put in half a star somehow? I think I'm going to give them two for this. Um, the controls, they're actually not the problem either. The problem is mostly the stage design. 
I would say that these are middling controls. The only thing in here that really sucks for controls, like really outstandingly bad, is um, Cyclops not being able to kick or punch or shoot when he's hurt. Like, what the hell is that? Have you seen that in any other game ever? What is that? That's such a weird, awful feature for your controls to not work anymore because you're hurt. Uh, appearance. It looks like the things it looks like. I think it's actually not too bad. As much as I like to laugh at the um, the one-up picture, <laughs> it's it's not the weak point of this. Is it fascinating? Actually, hold on, we skipped sound. The music is incredible. The sound design itself sucks so bad. I don't... I don't think I'm going for the music when I say sound. In this case, because I really like the music. I think I'm gonna give him a two, because there is Tim's soundtrack in here, right? Get the full and jams at the start. And, uh... Right now, I mean, it's playing right now. That is the, uh, the good stuff, but the sound design is killer. Just listen to the spider sense sound effect. <laughs> I don't have a category just for music. Maybe I should, but I don't. Uh, is this game fascinating? That's the question. I think it kind of, it does something unique. It's fascinating because it sucks so bad. I think the approachability is a one. <laughs> I think the approachability is where it really loses a lot. All right, yeah, I'll scroll over. The difficulty. You can have five access for this one. I feel like this is one of the harder things on this SNES, but um, if it weren't for the Juggernaut, I think it would be four. I'm seeing a lot of five-star difficulty, actually, on my games here. I don't know how hard Cool World actually is. It probably isn't that hard. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. I think I overdid it with that one. I didn't beat it, but it, it seems like a playable game, actually. Um, I don't think this one's that hard, either. Dragon's Lair is pretty rough, but um, probably also not five. Like, even this one... It sucks a lot, but it's not five. This one's not hard. This one's actually really easy if you just take the time. It's just gotta grind. Uh, Spider-Man and the X-Men probably... If it weren't for the Juggernaut, four. But I think he uh, changes things. That's my score. So... Uh, what else is there to say? Cyclops can't move when hurt. Well, he can't move very well. Gambits. Ammo limit. Storms underwater. There's something wrong. Spider-Man is lost in a maze. Um, I think that's something wrong with every level, yeah? Something really bad with each stage. Spider-Man and Storm really aren't that bad. Uh, so I guess, where do we put this in the list? 
is it I don't think that it's worse than this or this. I think that's pretty clear to me. Did I actually play? I, I think it is a better game than this, too. This game truly sucks. It's so bad. Um, I played Seven Saga on the first day I was doing this, so it was just one of the picks. It's a... It's, it's, I like it. It's an RPG. It's just a grindy old RPG, so it's just a little bit... I don't like that part of it, and it, that's mostly all it is, so... Not, not a great RPG, but it's a classic... I don't mind it. This game is worse than that for sure. Virtual Bart? <laughs> yeah, Bart's Nightmare is down here. Uh, I feel like... I kind of feel like I want to move Virtual Bart up the list a little bit. Like, I'd rather play Dragon's Lair or Noah's Ark or that shitty Blues Brothers junk. Um, Vortex is just hard to figure out. I think it goes right here. Above Vortex and then below the game that actually makes me physically sick and then <laughs> everything above that is really nasty. Let's put this here. I'm happier with these ranks. I think I want to play more of this game uh, to see how bad it really is. Because T2 Judgment Day is so bad. Where does Wolverine... Uh... I think it does go there. This one, though. I think it probably goes right there. I could beat Mohawk and Headphone Jack if I really wanted to, I'm sure. If I put as much time into it as I put into Spider-Man, I could probably have beaten it. I really played this stinking game a lot. Um, probably hundreds of hours as a kid, just thrown into Spider-Man and X-Men here. So I have that going in, and I also cheated, too. Yeah, Mohawk and Headphone Jack actually makes me sick, so it gets... It's a, it's a neat idea, I think. But it actually makes me sick. <laughs> so, I gotta knock points off for that, right? Somebody could play it, and they might have a good time. But it's, like, fifth on my list, just because of that. Alright. That's that. <laughs> 